Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please make sure to like this video if you are ready to make one of my absolute favorite desserts and subscribe here so you don't miss future recipes and coaching tips from me. Today we're making a healthy fruit crisp with almond butter crumble. I love making crisps because they're so easy, they're versatile and packed with wholesome ingredients. You can use whatever fruit that you have on hand, but we are going to use the peaches from my CSA box with Mountain Freshies this week. With our mornings here in Colorado getting chillier, I've been craving those warm fall flavors and this is going to hit the spot perfectly. It's not only delicious, but it's also healthy enough to eat for breakfast. You can think of it as like a warm, comforting oatmeal bar with fruit in it. I love healthifying my cravings. Of course, I enjoy going out to eat and indulging in store-bought treats now and then. But most of the time, I prefer to satisfy my cravings with quality, whole plant-based ingredients. That way I know exactly what's going into my food and I feel great after eating it. It's not about restriction or control, it's about feeling good about what I'm putting in my body. This recipe cuts down on processed oils and sugars, which are some of the biggest culprits in the standard American diet. I just learned that 60% of American calories come from ultra processed foods. So wild. So if you're looking to lose weight, lower inflammation, reduce your blood pressure, so many health goals, adding more plant-based foods and ultimately just saving those ultra processed foods for once in a while will do wonders for your health and longevity. And if you are ready to make the transformation to plant-based living and find joy in food and cooking and feel better than ever, I am here to help you. I have openings coming up in the plant-based path, my 12 week coaching program, and I've included a link to the video below where you can learn more about the program and see if it's a fit for you. So with that, let's get cooking. So we've got some beautiful produce in our box for this week, some kale, corn. Ooh, this pepper looks good. So does the jalapeno. We've got some garlic. Ooh, an eggplant. And we do have apples and pears. Like I said, you can use whatever fruit that you want for this crumble, but since peaches are almost out of season and I'm trying to get all that I can, I'm gonna use the peaches for this week. So you'll want to use about a pound of fruit for this recipe, and believe it or not, these peaches are large enough that they are almost one pound. The baking dish that I have here is probably a little bit too large. It's a nine by nine pan. Um, I can't find my eight by eight <laughs> or my, even you could do a, a loaf pan. Um, but I think as long as we've got enough to cover the bottom with fruit, we'll be good. So you could slice your fruit if you want. I'm just gonna dice it here. And actually, I mainly use this side for veggies. So like things like onion and garlic, I don't want those flavors in with my fruit. Okay, so we've got enough fruit to cover the bottom of the pan here, just about. So you want that in like a nice even layer. And now, over the peaches, we're gonna sprinkle on one tablespoon of tapioca starch. You could also use something like cornstarch or arrowroot starch. This helps with thickening our layer of fruit as it starts to, or as the sugars heat up and start to release juice. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of cardamom. I love cardamom and peaches together. You can also use any spices you like. So if you have say like pumpkin spice on hand and you wanted to use that with apples or you know whatever fruit you decide, you can totally do that. I'm just gonna do cardamom and then one teaspoon of cinnamon for today. And then we need just a little sweetener in there, I think. So we're gonna do one tablespoon of maple syrup. You could also do agave nectar. I always just have maple syrup on hand. Last but not least, let's do just a little squeeze of lemon juice. Helps to bring out the flavor.
Oops, I got a seed in there, but seeds are edible, so I'm not gonna dig it up. And there we go. Now we're gonna just set this aside and we'll make our crumble topping. We're gonna start with one cup of oats, one cup of almond flour. I should have mentioned this at the beginning. If you are allergic to tree nuts, you can totally modify this recipe. So instead of almond flour, you could do coconut flour or maybe like a gluten-free one-to-one flour, something similar, uh, anything similar to almond flour, you can sub in as a one-to-one. -one. And then we're gonna add some spices. So we're doing all the dry ingredients first. Again, to this, I want it to be spice heavy because I'm craving those fall flavors. So one teaspoon of cardamom, one teaspoon of cinnamon. I use this Ceylon cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon powder. That's like a tongue twister. Huge benefits with Ceylon cinnamon in, um, in terms of like there have been weight loss studies done on it. It's anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antimicrobial. Cinnamon's great for you. So I take a couple of capsules a day actually. Um, or I should say most days, like a few times a week. Half a teaspoon of sea salt. We're gonna whisk those dry ingredients together. I should mention too, I prefer like lots of crumble to fruit <laughs> ratio. So um, we'll see how this plays out with what's you know in the pan. I kind of do these recipes on the fly um, with just an idea in mind. So if we have a lot left over, this mixture will be excellent for some delicious, healthy, no-bake cookies, um, or even, you know, roll them into balls, put them in the freezer for energy bites. All right, now let's add our coconut oil. You could also use vegan butter if you want. I'm using coconut oil just cause. And then with a fork, just kind of mix that in by pressing down and soon it'll become nice and crumbly. You can also use a pastry cutter for this if you want. That's what we're doing. We're cutting in the coconut oil. And we wanna do this until just like small chunks remain. It's okay if it's a little chunky. We just don't want that big thick blob in there. I think we're good. Next, we're gonna add half a cup of almond butter. And my almond butter is pretty thick, so it might take a little more mixing than yours. If yours is more runny, that's totally fine. Basically, we want the mixture to kind of start to come together, not necessarily as a dough, but to stick to together so that it gets nice and crispy in the oven. So I'm gonna mix that in, whoops. And again, if you're allergic to tree nuts, use any other seed butter that you would like that makes sense for you. I immediately thought of sunflower butter, which I think would be very delicious in this, but beware that um, it does turn green when you bake it. I've used it in dishes before and it turns this like really beautiful green color, which it's safe to eat. It just looks very strange and maybe not very appetizing <laughs> for a dessert at least but you can use any nut or seed butter you want in here. Even peanut butter would be really good. All right, we're just gonna use this same measuring cup. This is a fourth of a cup, so let's keep going with it. And we're gonna add a fourth of a cup of maple syrup. Again, you can use a different sweetener if you want, like coconut sugar or agave nectar. Just something natural is best. We don't wanna spike our blood sugar in the morning. And this is also what I mean by just kind of cutting out those processed foods. Your body will see a huge difference once you start to do that. And I, I can immediately tell, you know, if I eat like a store-bought or even someone else makes crisp and it has a bunch of refined sugar in it, I feel like I start to get even kind of a little headache and I just don't feel my best. So it's great to use those natural sweeteners and quality ingredients. And of course, we're mixing that with the protein from the almonds, excellent fiber with oats and peaches. And then we'll have those beautiful warming spices in here as well. So that's all of our ingredients. And we're gonna layer our crumble mixture on top of the peaches. 
It might be really chunky and that's okay. We just wanna have sort of an even coverage. So I'm just gonna dollop it on and then kind of spread it around as much as I can. But I'm liking this amount. It's like a nice, really thick layer of this beautiful oat almond flour, almond butter mixture. So I'm just gonna kind of press this over the peaches. Again, we want those peaches to stay in like a single layer, so try to be careful with this step. Beautiful, now this is gonna go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes or until it's golden brown. It's only been 35 minutes, but I've been watching this closely and I think that is perfect timing. Oh yes. So we've got this beautiful brown crumble. You can see the fruit is bubbling and that's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna set this aside for about 15 minutes and then we are going to cut into it and enjoy. All right, let's dive into this. I'm so excited. First piece is always the hardest. Ooh, but look at that. Lovely peaches with our crumble on top. Make sure to get all the crumble parts. <laughs> Beautiful. Whew, I got a little warm turning the oven on in the summer, but I think this will be absolutely worth it. <laughs> Make sure to get a peach and a crumble. Oh. Mmm. I can't wait to eat this for breakfast throughout the week. It'll pair so well with coffee or chai. Oh, it is so delicious and hits the spot. You could totally serve this with your favorite ice cream for more of like a dessert, or it would be really good with something like coconut whipped cream. I love it plain. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait for you to try this one. Mm. And there you have it. Peach crisp with almond butter crumble. Again, perfect for breakfast, dessert, just a cozy treat on those chilly mornings with a warm cup of coffee or chai. If you enjoyed this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more plant-based goodness. And if you try it, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I will see you next time and until then, stay nourished and well. Peace.